you have a 12 year old daughter, is that right? I do, yeah. Okay. Uh, and is, what's she into these days? Like, can you relate to her? Because I have a daughter that's about the same age, just turned 13. Are you able to, like, connect with her at that age? Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we do a lot of stuff, outside stuff, and, uh, you know, go hiking or go horseback riding yeah. or ride ATVs or goof, you know, generally the dangerous stuff she does with me. And, and, uh, oh, yeah. you're a terrible father then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the dream. <laughs> what about music? Do you like the, the same music? Can you listen to her music? Yeah, I've learned a lot of her music. You know, she's into like Rihanna, Taylor Swift. I took her to see uh, Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was last year. That was kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. Was the concert fun? The concert was fun, yeah. We went, uh, got to go backstage. Uh, Taylor was nice enough to let us come backstage and she, she got to meet Taylor Swift. And I went backstage and Chris Rock was there with mm -hmm. his, his two little girls. And uh, so Taylor met the, all the girls and then she said, hey, uh, you know, uh, my, uh, one of my videos, the guy from my video is here and he's the number one male model in the world and uh, I want to introduce him on stage and I'd love it if you and Chris came up on stage and I could introduce you guys as the number two and number three male models in the world. <laughs> So we, we go, uh, Chris and I look, I had no idea it was coming and Chris right. and I look at each other and he hadn't shaved and you know, not, not really ready to go on stage at the Staples Center. Yeah, you just want to enjoy the concert and suddenly you're being asked, but you yeah. kind of have to do it. Yeah, it's like, whatever you need, Taylor, we're here to help, you know? Yeah. So, so next thing I know, we're underneath the stage. You know, the stages have that little elevator hole that shoots up. Sure, that's how I come out on stage every night. Yeah, right, so you know, you know. Of course. So we're underneath, and uh, <clears throat> the other, the model guy, he goes up first and walks down this long catwalk, and then Chris Rock and I are there, and I remember just standing there looking at him, like underneath the stage and thinking, wow, this is very bizarre, and I never worked with him before. I don't, don't really know him that well, a little yeah. bit. He's a nice enough guy, and uh, we both look at each other and just kind of go, okay, just turn it up to 11 and act like a fool. Yeah. Here we go, and it was kind of fun. We walked down the stage and danced. Did we have a clip of this. You guys rock it on stage, oh, unannounced, boy. and yeah. act like models in front of 11-year-old yeah. girls. Let's Here take a look go. at this. Uh... <laughs> No catwalking for me, no. But the best no model in the world has ever done that. <laughs> nope. I think nope. Popeye, that's how Popeye got her out. <laughs> but the funniest part is, so the next morning we're having breakfast, you know, and just her and I watching, watching the news or My Little Pony or whatever it was. And uh, <laughs> one of the two. Yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah. And I say, so uh, your dad last night on stage with Taylor Swift, pretty cool, huh? What do you think? And she goes, eh. I thought your walk was cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> just, just puts it all in perspective. Kids don't care, especially they that age. They, they don't, don't care. care at We're all. just dorks. They don't yeah. care. It doesn't yeah. matter what you've done.